we had a very nice meeting with the uh, finance minister all key officials of uh, finance ministry were there so what we have highlighted is the pain points what industry is facing uh, the threat from china and other uh, points so honorable minister has given us a very patient hearing and uh, they will be considering and evaluating all the proposals given by indian chamber of commerce so i would say it was a very nice meeting and uh, we could explain our points to honorable minister and the key officials of the finance ministry and we are very hopeful that uh, the corrective steps or whatsoever the anomalies or request of the industry is there that will be considered by the honorable finance minister i understand you had the pre budget meeting with the finance minister as of today representing uh, trade and industries could you give us a sense on what your recommendations were to the union finance minister to our the minister was that india the indian private sector wants to grow at a much faster speed and because of various the old policy the capital is not being absorbed as fast as people want to invest right. it is the fastest growing economy at present mm -hmm. so we will like to be part of it mm -hmm. for example uh, environment is a sequential process environmental clearance if it can be done in parallel right it will be much faster mm -hmm. unnecessary the blockage of money will be saved true the second thing is if the government can improve their tax to gdp ratio mm -hmm. it is still 12% while it is 35% or so in all developed developed countries mm -hmm. so 12 to 15% mm -hmm. and the money can go for infrastructure development right. that will mean future growth right. so that's what and whatever suggestion we gave mm -hmm. minister listen to it mm -hmm. will but will not respond back <laughs> that that's what is she likes and what she doesn't like so we are talking to a ear not to the wall she mm -hmm. was all listening mm -hmm. very positively mm -hmm. noting down the suggestions mm -hmm. but what she will uh, agree what she will not agree we just don't know so on the subject of environmental clearance before i let you go on the cbam which is the carbon border uh, adjustment mechanism anything that was discussed on no that? no it was not discussed but uh, i understand it's a serious concern for the industry yes it is definitely because uh, if worldwide it is coming india cannot be left far behind can you tell us what were some of your rec uh, suggestions to the union finance minister when it comes to pre budget fact, very precise the, our first suggestion was that uh, export require r and d support and innovation and therefore mm -hmm. we require uh, little tax support for the r and d globally r and d has been incentivized mm -hmm. so we have requested that the standard tax deduction on r and d mm -hmm. may be increased to 250 to 300% mm -hmm. uh, from the small exporters perspective interest equalization scheme is very handy we have asked for this extension for 5 years mm -hmm. and the subvention rate to be increased from 3% to 5% mm -hmm. and from 2% to 3%. Mm -hmm. The third request was with regard to developing an Indian shipping line of global repute. We have in 2020 remitted transport service charge mm -hmm. to the tune of around 109 billion dollar. We are totally at the mercy of the foreign shipping line. Therefore, if we develop an Indian shipping line of our own, mm -hmm. we will be in much better position. And we please all right sorry to interrupt you in terms of export preparedness we saw last year that in fact the uh, the uh, uh, difficulties along the black sea in terms of what's happening across the black sea was something of of interest and of, of course difficulty a lot of exporters anything on that particular topic no we have not discussed that because this is something which is a problem being encountered by the entire world and the good thing is that trade has factored that mm. so you must have seen that even it has not affected our export for the month of april and we want that trend to continue but we are at the same same time hope that uh, there will be little uh, softening in the hamas conflict and over a period of time situation will come to the normal one mr sahab before i let you go on the sea ban uh, was any discussion taken up regarding the carbon border adjustment no i don't think this is a matter which is related to tax uh, at this point of time ministry of commerce is looking into the various option uh, whether it's a trade issue or non trade issue and how to discuss that as at the industry level we are preparing the industry because this is something which is good for the country also because carbon emission has to be brought down to the, the country as and well and in terms of any green suggestions for the budget sir there are a lot of organization which have proposed for that i am the senior vice president of gujarat chamber of commerce and industries and i represent the the chamber of gujarat right and i am also running my industries astral pipes and but i have represented the industries of gujarat and major points we have represented are the points for medium and small enterprises the 43h clause is which we have said that it's a good clause 
but we need some relaxations, which we have told them. The definition of MSME is also we have told them to Children, reduce the payment, uh, 45 day payment 43 day. payment cycles. So we have said that it's a positive clause, but we need some relaxations mm. on the time cycles. Right. Secondly, we have represented that the MSME, mm -hmm. the, the remit should be reduced because a lot of enterprises take benefit by creating entities and take the benefits of the subsidies and so that we have represented. Rationalization of taxes for LLPs and uh, high net individual also we have represented and we have represented issues related to the filing of certain things where we need some relaxation. So the meeting was very positive, the FM took things in a positive way and FM did visit our chamber a few months back where also similar representation was made and so she, is, she has the knowledge of the same and uh, uh, Nirmala ji took every representation very positively and we are sure that there will be a positive outcome in the coming budget. Before I let you go, sir, anything on export, export preparedness and uh, some sort of tax concessions? Uh, we have not, we have mainly represented more on the taxation side right. because FM is concerned on the taxation and the budget is coming. So a lot of representation we have done which can be looked upon in the coming budget.